Hey, happy Monday, everybody. Mark again here at Weatherman Plus. Now, we have a lot of severe weather for today and tomorrow. Matter of fact, it has grown to a bigger area. Chances for strong tornadoes. Plus, what we have over here with Raphael. Because Raphael is going to strengthen as it goes into the Caribbean. Matter of fact, I'm showing it could be stronger than a Cat 1 hurricane by the time it goes by the Cayman Islands towards Cuba. Also, you can see over here, it shows that it's going to go towards the west. Now, I think this cone actually could go further towards the east over here because what I'm seeing in the atmosphere is that we're going to get this trough coming through while we get an expanding high pressure. Now, these two together is going to rip apart this storm eventually, whether it happens in the beginning of the phase and it just goes west by the high pressure and it's not strong enough to get grabbed by this trough or if it goes further to the north, which is where it is trending, either here or a little bit further to the west eastern side of this cone, where it will just start getting shredded apart. Now, right now, there is a tropical storm warning out for Jamaica, showing the winds will be on the western and southern side of the island, but still with all the rainfall from the feeder bands coming from this tropical storm, potentially strengthening up to a hurricane as it gets right past you or right over you. The banding is going to be strong with a lot of flooding as well. Plus, you can see for the Cayman Islands, you do have a hurricane warning that is issued out for you. Now, showing it is going right over western Cuba, bringing hurricane force winds, and so far showing it will dissipate but get really close towards Louisiana. But like I said, I think this will go a little bit further towards the eastern side of the cone. I'm seeing more of a direction like this versus like this. But I'm going to show you all the latest information that I have found for you in this video. If you've never been here before, make sure you subscribe. Make sure you click that bell and select all. That way you can get all the latest updates. I do afternoon updates when we get a little bit closer. But if y'all want an afternoon update for today, just let me know. Plus, we do have this area of disturbance right here that is growing for that next tropical wave that's trying to form up over here by the Bahamas. Still showing it could be something weak, but it could be a little stall effect from the front and start strengthening up a little bit by the Bahamas. Now this disturbance is forecasted to be a tropical storm as it goes near or close towards Jamaica as it becomes later on for today and pass by Jamaica bringing chances for hurricane force winds as it goes by the Cayman Islands towards Cuba. I still think it's going to strengthen up a little bit. Also, you need to be on watch for the Florida Keys as you might get warnings or watches for tropical storm or even hurricane force possibility. Now, still forecasted to go into the Gulf of Mexico later this week, but still there's a lot of uncertainties as far as the strength and guidance of what's going on with this system. I'm going to show you what I found. Now, you can see this on the latest ensembles. First with the Euro, you can see how it's, it's favoring getting push to that west because that strengthening high pressure the other models are showing it could be a weakening high pressure and strengthening later it all depends on speed as well but you see also if the one breaks off showing it could go towards florida the rest of them showing it's going to go take that western push and then maybe try and break off later on so when we go by the other models, you can see all the other models is actually against what the Euro is saying. So as you look at the automatic tropical cyclone forecast, you see how it's pointing more as it's a little bit closer towards Louisiana and maybe breaking off later. We look at the Canadian. It's showing almost the same thing. It's going to head in that direction, but maybe get pulled back by that trough. So that's what we got to watch out for is timing and the GFS showing the same thing. More likely it would be a little bit further towards the west than Florida. Now this is all going to be about timing, whether this is going to be a tropical depression, a tropical storm, or even a hurricane on landfall. So before it became PTC 18, the last that we had of intensity on Invest, as it goes towards the Cayman Islands and Cuba, could strengthen up towards a Cat 2, maybe even a major hurricane. But the latest update that just come out when it was just designated as the 18, that it could get up towards that Cat 1, that Cat 2 status as it goes towards Western Caribbean, intensify, and go towards Cuba. Remember, we still have that deep ocean heat as well in the Western Caribbean. After that, it could remain a Cat 1 hurricane or a strong tropical storm as it heads potentially towards Western coastal Florida or move further towards the west but once again like i said yesterday the more western it, it goes the more chances it has for it to be a weaker system on impact either a tropical storm or a tropical depression but florida has a chance for the hurricane or the tropical storm but the further west 
the weaker it will become. So, so far, when we look at a hurricane analysis panels, you can see it does show it will be a little bit further away on western Jamaica. You're still going to get banding from heavy floods. You're still going to get the winds as well. And then it goes by Cayman Islands as a strong hurricane, potentially a Cat 2, as it goes right towards western Cuba as well. Now, after that, then it starts going towards Louisiana, towards Mississippi. But look how it turns and then weakens down from the shear and the dry air. But still, if this storm was faster, you would have a very strong system, potentially a strong hurricane, that would go quickly towards landfall. Now, it's going to start weakening down before coast because you have dry air you got shear and this is also where the cooler waters are right close to shore but until then i'm showing it could be very hectic time following this hurricane now you also can see this with hurricane analysis b it takes it a little bit closer towards jamaica a little bit weaker but still showing a strong tropical storm strengthening up to a hurricane as it goes towards cayman islands towards cuba and showing almost the same thing it will head right towards that curve strengthen up and then window down and maybe try and come back. So it's going to be very hectic all the way to the end. It's going to just go real fast, real strong, and then it's going to hit on the brakes. The question is the intensity when it hits depends on the timing of the speed, whether it has time to slow down, whether it has time to weaken down before landfall. But for Jamaica, as you go through the evening all the way into later tonight, you could get chances for 50, even 40 miles per hour, 50 miles per hour sustained winds that starts growing as it comes closer towards you. But you can also see over here on your reflectivity that you have all those feeder bands that's coming across right across the island. And that's going to bring you strong banding, bring you some heavy flooding as well as that moves to the west. And you can see for Cayman Islands, it's bringing a lot of strong winds. It's going to be north side loaded. I'm showing west end is going to be a little bit stronger impacts. But showing it could go by the Florida Keys, bring you chances for tropical storm issues, maybe even a hurricane watch if this is a little closer towards the east, which I think it could shift. So this is what we have for Nicaragua, Honduras. You might get one to two inches of rainfall anywhere from 25 to 50 maybe even all the way up to 100 millimeters but you've seen it is heavy for jamaica mostly the eastern side where those feeder bands will come and all that one to two inches in that dark green two to four but that yellow is all four to six and this orange right here is going six to eight inches maybe 150 to 200 millimeters right there so you're gonna get winds on the western side you're gonna get flooding on the eastern side and it's going to be a little bit of both in the middle and you see also over here for Haiti, getting that heavy flooding as well, coming across eastern Cuba and western Cuba and the Cayman Islands with a lot of heavy rainfall with the winds as well. Showing so far, you went in gusts will be somewhere around the 50 miles per hour range, but you see how it starts strengthening as it goes by the Cayman Islands. Showing west end is going to be the majority of the strongest winds coming out of this system so far now the euro is showing something weak going by jamaica something weak by the western caribbean and it shows that it gets that curve after cuba and maybe try to strengthen up a little bit as it goes into the western and southern gulf of mexico that's what the euro is showing matter of fact the latest euro has changed now the gfs also agrees it would be something weak over here by jamaica now a lot of the other models show that it will start strengthening up right at jamaica this one shows it starts strengthening up right as it leaves jamaica more like for the cayman islands there don't have enough time to strengthen up towards that cat 2 or stronger because it runs out of time and it does bring it down towards that hurricane as it goes by cuba and look how it comes right inland then right here it gets squeezed by that trough a growing high pressure and this almost does like a stall, but it squeezes, slows down, and just weakens down. Maybe you can get this strength of intensity of a low-grade Cat 1, a very strong tropical storm, as it makes landfall before it has chance to do that weakening down impact. I will keep you updated. And you can see that next one still showing something very weak coming by the Bahamas as well. Now, this is where National Hurricane Center has it in 72 hours as a hurricane hurricane raphael right over here on the other side of cuba right where the gfs is showing i'm still showing this could turn a little bit further towards the north or maybe drift a little bit towards the northwest it all depends if this high pressure is going to be strengthening or not so look at the atmosphere with the euro you can see how you have that 
strengthening high pressure, but you can see how it weakens down. It allows that to start traveling a little bit into the Gulf. So you still have it right there. But once you go three days, then it starts pushing it further towards the west. And look how you got there. You still got the upper level high, still pushing that towards the west. Now, when you go by the latest update to SIGZ, it takes it further towards the north to where that system is grabbing it and it's squeezing it on the western side. The high pressure is growing on the eastern side and just rips this system apart right before landfall. You see that? That's the latest on a Euro. Not showing that westward turn. Showing like the GFS and other models that it will go further to the north, a little further to the east as well. GFS on the same shot. Shows it right there with no chance for that to get pushed out. Does a little bit of a squeeze play, a little slowdown and a stall. But you see how it intensifies. Then it weakens down right before landfall. AI as well. Showing that strengthening in the Western Caribbean. Showing that strengthening high pressure as well. Has a moment to get into the Gulf. But here it goes. It gets stuck by the trough. It gets stuck by the high pressure. And it windows it down to nothing. When we look at all the ensembles with GFS, you can see literally here it is with the control member passing by Western Jamaica, a little bit closer like the h Wharf is showing, but not a hurricane as a tropical storm. You see as it passes by, it goes by West End, starts strengthening up, going towards Cuba. Then it goes close to the Florida Keys as well. And you can see on the rest of these ensembles, all most of them is showing is pretty much in that general area with that system but this is your control member showing it more likely will go northern see that's a little bit further towards the east in that cone and then get that squeeze play right before landfall if you look at the rest of them you can see some show it stronger but all of them show it around this area and you have it pretty much a 50 50 see all the weakness as well in these models but showing with the control member it would not be there yet so far and it will get that squeeze play and it will weaken down and go to the west at the last second and just be a lot of extra rainfall. You can see this also on other ensembles showing it will weaken down and then get pushed to that west. Also still showing that we have something that's going to be coming in our area as we go through the beginning and middle of December. Remember, Hurricane season don't stop just because of a date on a calendar. It stops because the temperatures cool down in the Caribbean and they're still way above average and warm temperatures. So as long as we have those temperatures, we're going to keep having systems forming. Showing it will be weaker. You can see the lift that we have now passing over on our MJO. Then we go on that break phase. But later on, as we go towards the beginning of December into the middle of December, we have some lift, some growth coming in our area that will support uh, strengthening thunderstorms. Real quick, I want to go over towards the severe weather. You can see with tornado cast how it has grown. This almost looks like an upside down heart right there. But you see how it has grown with intensity. Now, this don't mean that this is going to be your outcome, but it has grown with National Weather Service as well. But showing a lot of chances for strong tornadoes for today and as we go into tomorrow. So listen up, for today we have a big enhanced section and your chances for tornadoes, even strong tornadoes, EF2 or greater in that black hatched area. So here's your cities and states at risk for the chance for tornadoes for today. We also have chances for high winds and hail. So for the winds, here's your cities and states at risk for the high winds for today and not only the 15% but that big 30% chances for strong winds. Also for the hail threat, here's your cities and states at risk for the damage and hail potentially for today. And National Weather Service has scattered severe thunderstorms associated with tornadoes, large hail, and wind damage. Are likely today from the southern plains, north northeastward, into the Ozarks and mid-Mississippi Valley. A few of the tornadoes could be strong. Plus, as we go into tomorrow, it's still going to be remaining some storms on the southern side and the storms on the northern side. We do have chances for tornadoes on both areas. So here's your cities and states at risk for the tornado threat for tomorrow. And National Weather Service has a brief tornado or two and locally damaging winds may occur on Tuesday across a portion of the Sabine to lower Mississippi valleys and central to southern Wisconsin. 
So you can see as you look at your significant tornado perimeters, it factors in dew points, wind shear, all the good possibilities for a great as atmosphere to get some kind of tornadoes. And you can see for today that it grows right for this hatched area for Oklahoma as that starts going towards Arkansas. This is where you have chances for strong tornadoes all the way from DFW, eastern DFW and northern. This is where you have a lot of chances to grow a tornado in these storm cells as this goes further towards the east. Chances for strong tornadoes. Look at the bend in that one. You got to watch out for these storms today. I think it's going to be pretty serious. And this one shows chances for a strong tornado going from eastern Oklahoma going towards western Arkansas. Watch out for this area. This is a pretty hot area. Then you see in these cells also discrete going through southern Missouri. You need to watch out for this could be the QLCS tornadoes that could happen. You still see them in that line as this line comes together, bringing that tornado threat in that line as the line starts weakening down. And as it goes further to the east, you see it turns into a damage and wind event. Then you have it for tomorrow. This goes right back up for tomorrow and starts bringing more cells through mostly northern Louisiana, but it brings them right off the Gulf and peels these storms as well. And then you get a group that comes through Wisconsin, some storms, and you got a few discrete cells that could form up. Plus remember, we have another system coming. Remember, a parade of storms. So as we get in the storm system coming through, it is bringing anywhere from 40 and start raising up towards 50 miles per hour wind gusts and all that yellow. But you can see also that next storm system is bringing winds over here for the Pacific Northwest bringing y'all anywhere from that 50 in the orange, 60 in the red, 70 in the higher elevations, wind gusts coming with that next storm system. Still showing that it's going to bring all that heavy swath of rainfall. Then what comes in the Caribbean will bring heavier rainfall regardless towards the southeast. Matter of fact, Euro has a lot adding up for y'all on the rainfall. And when you look for everyone else, look how it starts adding up for Texas on up. And I'm, I know Texas loves this, but could get a lot of good rainfall coming out of this surge for Texas. Matter of fact, could add up to a lot, maybe even a foot. We need to watch out for that. That's a lot of heavy flooding coming. But Texas, you do look like you have some good rainfall coming your way. I know y'all been wanting it so much. It is coming literally around the corner as you deal with that tropical wave and what comes afterwards. Don't forget about the cold pocket of air that is bringing a good snowfall towards New Mexico and Colorado. Also towards the northwest, a little bit lighter though than this. This is all one to two feet. One foot in the pink, two feet or more in the blue. Thank you for your time everybody. Hope you have a great day today. Remember smash that like button if you want an afternoon an update otherwise i'll just see you in the morning now real quick before you go matthew 22 36 through 40 master which is the great commandment in the law jesus said unto him thou shalt love the lord thy god with all thy heart and with all thy soul and with all thy mind this is the first and great commandment and the second is like unto it thou shalt love thy neighbor as thyself on these two commandments hang all the law and the prophets. Amen. Remember, always take care of your neighbors, everyone. Check on your neighbors. Make sure they're okay. Check on their pets as well. Remember, all glory does go to God, our Father in heaven, Yahweh. And I always hope he keeps you safe every single day of your life. And forever. <laughs> Amen. <laughs> Hallelujah. <laughs> Amen. Have a great day, everybody. Be careful of these storms.